After years of campaigning, one of the last remaining pieces of the USS Oklahoma is in green country. The mass from that ship, which was bombed at Pearl Harbor, was unveiled today at the Muskogee War Memorial. 2 News multimedia journalist Robert Garrison was there and brings us the story. Many made the trip to Muskogee Saturday, some to see a piece of history unveiled, while others came for sentimental reasons. Dennis Eslick's father served aboard the Oklahoma. Uh, we lost him in February. Uh, he was one of the 32 cutouts out of the belly of the ship, and they cut him out 28 hours later. He was one of the last survivors they got out. This is the first time he got the chance to see up close a part of the ship his father served on. He hopes it will serve as a reminder for future generations. We're going to try to keep this memory alive for everybody. The young ones need to remember what, what they died for and what it's all about. The mass was slowly revealed, showing its years of rust and decay at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. It's not pretty. It serves as a symbol many will honor. This is like the holy grail of, of Oklahoma. It's uh, uh, the, uh, a piece of their history. Uh, this is uh, uh, directly related to the state of Oklahoma. Getting that holy grail to Muskogee was no easy task. Staff at the War Memorial, along with local and state politicians, lobbied the federal government for years. To work with the Air Force and the Navy and everything else to get it here. And for a long time, the Navy didn't want to give it to us. You know, they didn't think that, that uh, we could uh, preserve it. Fire! One of the last remaining pieces of the USS Oklahoma will now sit at the Muskogee War Memorial. The ship's your mother, and this is this completing your picture. Robert Garrison, 2 News works for you. That mass was recovered in 2002 and sat on an island for years before it was transported to the museum. Staff will be cleaning it up before setting it in a permanent display.